anti-graft and pro-democracy activists rallied outside the Corruption Eradication Commission headquarters after police made the sudden move to arrest KPK Deputy Chairman Bambang Wijoyanto. Hundreds of supporters gathered at KPK headquarters in South Jakarta to demand the immediate release of its deputy chairman. Calls for people to rally in defence of the anti-graft body spread quickly, the hashtag SaveKPK trending on social media. Among those at the rally were Fachrul Rahman, the executive director of the Sugung Sariadi School of Government, state law expert Saldi Isra, Haris Azhar, a coordinator of the Contras Human Rights Group, sociologist Imam Prasodjo, Suchiwati, the widow of slain human rights activist Munir, Catholic priest Franz Magnus Suseno, artist and musician Butet Katarajasa, and a number of activists from Indonesia Corruption Watch. Speakers labelled Bambang Wijoyanto's arrest an authoritarian action by police. Suchiwati called the move revenge and an effort to delegitimise the KPK's authority to investigate graft suspect and National Police Chief nominee, Commissioner General Budi Gunawan. The KPK revealed Budi was the suspect in a corruption investigation just before the House of Representatives Commission 3 was about to conduct a fit and proper test to determine his eligibility for the role. Father Franz says the Civil Society Coalition Against Corruption is also calling on President Joko Widodo to drop his plan to inaugurate Budi. The President has decided to delay Budi's appointment and has ordered Deputy Police Chief Commissioner General Badruddin Haiti to temporarily assume the role. Head of the Corruption Eradication Commission, Abraham Samad, has denied all accusations by acting PDIP Secretary General Hasto Cristianto. Samad has challenged Hasto to provide evidence on the various meetings with PDIP that he claims Samad attended during the presidential campaign last year. Jadi, Pak Abraham membantah dengan keras apa yang dituduhkan oleh Pak Hasto CS tadi ya. Jika keterangan pers yang disampaikan itu sudah menyangkut seseorang dan seseorang itu adalah ketua sebuah lembaga seperti KPK tentu harus ada klarifikasi-klarifikasi yang diberikan ya jadi tidak sekedar menuduh saja karena itu kami menyampaikan apabila tuduhan-tuduhan yang disampaikan itu tidak benar maka kami juga bisa melakukan langkah-langkah ya yang diperlukan uh, terkait dengan uh, tuduhan More bodies found in and around the wreckage of the crashed Air Asia plane when Indonesia highlight returns